Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. As always, please subscribe and more importantly, leave comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. Today's video is actually as a result of a subscriber leaving a comment. They wanted to hear about the lookup. So the lookup, I'm going to, the lookup function is lookup and then the dimension or the measure, actually the measure and aggregate of the measure and then an offset amount. Usually it could be negative one, um, but it could be negative one means you're going to be looking up at the value previous. All, everything you read will tell you that it's not like the H lookup and the V lookup in Excel, and that's correct. You're just going up one row to look up this value. So let me show you what that looks like. Off to the right here, I've got the parameter, and I'm going to say, look up, go up one row. And so you can see the lookup value is going up one row to look at the sales. Okay, let's just change it for to something else. Five. And as you can see, these first four or five, they don't have a previous value. They can't go above the, the table. So they return null. This value is coming, this is row six, it's coming off of row one. Row two, row three, row four. The other thing is you can go to positive values. I put in positive value two. Now, this is going to be the value from row three. Okay, oh, the last thing I was gonna say is you can also put in zero, and that will equal itself. So I want to show you a couple of uh, use cases. One is comparing. The orange is the historical value, and then the blue is looking at the previous year. Let me look up, let's see here, previous year. We're saying look up the quantity from 12 columns to the left, right? Because we're going, this is right here, computing across the table, we're going across the table view. And so this value is getting pulled from here. This value is pulling to here, this value, and so forth. So that's one case. You'll notice the 12 nulls, that's because backing up 12 uh, would get you off of the visual, and so there's no data. So that's what the 12 nulls are. Here's one that I like, I've wanted before, is you've got sales by quarter, and you want to get a subtotal for just the year. Let's see here, annual value. This is a little more complicated. Maybe it's not quite as elegant as you might find elsewhere. So what we're doing is we're looking at the, the date part the quarter for the ship date, and the max is required because this, we can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate. But we're looking for the quarter of the ship date. So when it's number four, when it's the last quarter, we want it to look up the previous quarter, which is third quarter, plus two quarters previous, which is second quarter, which is, and then three quarters previous, which is first quarter. And then we add also in the zero because we want that current rows sales amount. So that way we can total up all four um, quarters and have an annual value here. And this last one, which is a little bit, I don't know if it's really a good example, but it proves a point. Let's see here, I'm gonna scroll to the top. Now we can scroll right there. Now we're going to look at the new product value or calculation. And what this is doing, it's saying if it's the first row in the table, then we're just going to leave it as null. We're not going to analyze it. Else, we're going to say look up the previous previous value of the sum of sales. So look up the previous value. And if that's null, 
and the sales for the current year is greater than zero, then we're going to put in the sum of sales. What this was trying to do is identify when a, a product becomes active again. Um, like in this case here, there was no sales one year, and so we're trying to say, oh, hey, we had this this particular printer came back. We've got new sales. So that, that's another way that you can use it is uh, as a qualifier. And so you can look and see, oh, we had 23 more, you know, the, the previous year didn't have any sales and now we've got 23. So the, the, that's, this is a little bit contrived, but you've got the by year, the previous year, which is just the VLOOKUP minus 12. The other thing, so it's just minus 12. The other thing to realize is that this is a table calculation and you will need to input, you know, compute using table across or table down. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave some comments and some other ideas of videos you'd like to see.